Welcome back to Hoochos. Today on Hoochos, I'm going to be unboxing, reviewing, and time-lapsing this. This is the Batanium Complete Indoor Growing Kit. It is a hydroponic planter that allows you to grow plants from seed to harvest in one neat, compact, indoor growing solution. Okay, so the folks out at Batanium have sent me this package and I'm going to be unboxing it and reviewing it for you today. I've actually seen these around before. I did purchase one myself and I can't find it anywhere because I was pretty excited to see what it included. So in the box we have the Batanium and I think they've sent me out, they sent me out a 15 watt grow light to put above it. That's pretty cool. So I thought I'd actually have to put my own grow light above it, but they've supplied one. So that would probably be an extra purchase that you can obtain from their website. So I'll have to set up a light stand. Let's have a look at the device itself. Oh, I knew I had one of these somewhere. I've got like this entire spare room full of like hydroponic devices that I've been meaning to check out. And this has been sitting in there for ages. I bought it like over a year ago and I've wanted to do this review without them actually sending me anything. So I bought one. So now I can actually have two plants growing at the same time. Now it's gonna be interesting with one light. So I may actually have to change the light, but that's fine. Um, I didn't realize I was getting that. So let's have a look in the box. Okay, quick start guide, growing medium. Have a look at that in a second, but it looks like miniature LECA, light expanded clay aggregate, which is hydrogen essentially, but like a miniature form. It's very light. It's either that, pomace, or fine scoria, but I'll have a look in a second. And the device itself. So this is the device. Inside we have a power adapter which is not right for my country. Uh, what have we got? Five volts, one amp. Yeah, I can do that. We have the device itself, which is actually, it's a USB powered five watt reservoir pump combo that pumps up and into the plant container, which is essentially it's a pot. As you can see here, there's a little dome at the bottom which surrounds an exit pipe and that is actually going to act like a little bell siphon. As you can see in here, we have where the pump pushes the water up to. It has a little seal and as you put the top compartment onto the base, you have this little point that lines up and it will pump water into this top feed ring which will water the plants from above. And once you have your grow media in this, it will act like, it's actually a really nice little design because you can just lift this top lid off with the plant in it and it acts like a pot and you won't have any spillage. You can just place that wherever you want the plant and then wash this out and refill it. This is like, this is a really, I like this design, yes. And it's got on the front, it's got, an indicator so that will indicate the level of water and you can just refill that as it lowers i do like this this is pretty cool all right what else have we got this is interesting five full pipettes for one tank of water so this is the nutrients so it says to use five full pipettes per one tank of water. And there's actually an analysis on the back. You can see all of the different nutrients within that analysis. And the bottle is actually half full. We can actually look at that and compare that to the one that I purchased uh, without them sending it to me. Well, this is gonna be an older product because it's years old. I bought this ages ago. So the quick start guide is different. 
I've got a 15% discount for their shop, user manual and quick start guide. So they've changed their quick start guide. We've got the same growing medium. I bought the same one, apparently. I don't remember buying this, honestly. I have this like massive shelf of stuff that I've been meaning to review. It's the same setup internally. Uh, this one, because I bought it from an Australian site, this one actually has the correct power adapter and it has the potassium nutrients. However, the nutrients are different because this one states that you should use three pipettes and this one's actually opaque. You can see the nutrients are opaque here and the other one, the nutrients are clear. So they've changed nutrients in that time. It's the same device, they haven't changed the actual device. So let's get to setting them up. Let's set up this product with some plants. And there's not really much for me to do. This is super simple. I'm definitely going to need some kind of new product testing area for this. Okay, so as you can see here, we're all set up. I've got airflow, light, and power. So we'll turn it on. Airflow blowing across, light providing photosynthetically active radiation. And now we can set up our system. The reason I'm not using the Batanium light is because I don't have any of the screw fixtures. So I'm actually gonna go for the SF600, which I've used a lot and I like its output for what we're growing here today. It looks like it wants us to rinse out the grow media. So we wanna fill it up to the ring, but not above the ring. We've got a little bit left over, which is good. And I'm going to wash this out. So I'm just gonna rinse this underwater. And apparently you only need to do this the first time you use it. The grow media floats, so it is expanded clay. And you can see how it drains out the bottom there. So it says plant seed in growing container and make sure they are covered by grow medium. Unless you grow basil, then the seed should be uncovered. So you can actually plant seeds directly into this. Um, however, I'm actually going to shortcut the process because I've got some cotton wool propagation media seedlings that I'm going to plant straight into this so that we can get an idea of how that method actually marries up with this method. I'll grab the cotton wool propagation method. These are a red oak leaf lettuce, I think they're called. They look like this when they're mature. And I'm gonna fill one of the botaniums with these guys. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick one that has multiple seedlings like this. With the other, I'm gonna put in some red pak choy. And now I can fill them with water. And I'm just gonna use plain tap water. Mine's tank water, so there shouldn't be any problem. And as you can see, I've just filled them up to that line. Okay, so just to keep it nice and consistent, I'm just gonna use the one nutrient for both. So this is the new nutrient, just because they might've changed their recipe and I don't really wanna undermine them like that. I'm going to use five drops in each container. Every time you refill, you will use essentially five drops. One, two, three, four, Five, three, four, five. So the measurements on here, I'm only putting in 0.2 of a mil every time I'm filling this up. So apparently once you put the top on and plug them in, they're gonna water every three hours. So there's obviously a chip timer in this device and the pump will turn on and water from the grow ring here. Plug this in. I want to, I do want, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's put the top on. <laughs> that was good. All right, here we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let me just get a top down of that. Look at that. And that will happen every three hours. Let's do that again. Let's see if I can get a top down of that. It makes like this pentagon. Oh, look at that. Now that, that is cool. 
and it automatically turns on and off and we'll just water it like this every three hours. That's pretty bloody cool. <laughs> oh, stop it. I love it. <laughs> so we're at about 260 par and that is the Batanian set up. So what I'm gonna do now is leave them to their own devices and we can set up the time-lapse camera and see how they grow. Okay, so the first planting was a bit of a fumble. I misunderstood the pipetting as a single drop rather than a full pipette. As you can see, the grow was slow. It went for 28 days and this is the result. The plants remarkably survived on that little nutrient and whatever was in the cotton wool. Okay, because I'm terrible at my job, I have actually misread the amount that I need to pipette into these botaniums. So what we've been watching for the last minute or so has been what the plants have been surviving on with a really, really low dose of nutrients. So I am now going to take these plants out, put the appropriate amount of nutrients in, which is actually three full pipettes for the old one and five for the new one. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to replace the water, replace the amount of nutrient in the water, and replace the plants, which are actually doing rather well for the amount of, or lack of nutrients that's in them. It's gonna be interesting because, wow, that's a lot of roots. That's cool. So even with the lack of nutrients, there would have been a little bit of nutrient in the cotton wool as well, remember? But even with that lack of nutrients, we've still got a root system that looks like that. So, the technique is working, the physical technique is working. And I'm gonna remove this one as well. It's raining, I'm sorry if you can't hear this. This time I'm actually just going to plant some seeds in there. So we're gonna throw some lettuce seeds straight into a divot in both of our botaniums, cover it up, and I'm gonna start them from seed. Let's try that again. And this is the result. These planters contain multiple plants that have been grown from seed through to this stage. The time-lapse did pause there for a little bit and we missed some of the early growth. But as you can see, during the larger lettuces growth, we had some seeds sprouting as well, which gives you some kind of an idea how they went through their early stages. I'm actually really impressed with the growth of these plants. I did actually have to change over to my own nutrient uh, about halfway through because I didn't have enough nutrient from the single pipette to do both grows and the milky white color that was the older pipette, the nutrient had turned bad over the years that I'd had it in this box. There's probably about enough nutrient for one grow of lettuce within the box. Now on their website, now I don't think this is Australian dollars, but it is $25 for 300 mils of the pipettable fluid. It's quite expensive. I would actually recommend that you just use cheaper dry hydroponic nutrient at a rate that is appropriate for your plants. The overall design is a, like a 10 out of 10. This is a really neat, compact little planter. It's USB powered. That is just so cool and there's no timers or anything. You could literally plug this directly into a computer and it would work absolutely fine as long as those computer sockets are powered at all times. This would work great on windowsills, so without grow lights if you like. As long as there's enough sunlight, I would actually be really excited to see something like these micro tomatoes within a system like this or even some peppers or something small and bushy, although the rate at which you would be topping this system up would be 
fairly high in the fruiting stages of something like these micro tomatoes. This would be a really great system for kids or teaching purposes. The ease of setup and the foolproofness of the system, there is no timer that you can mess up. It is basically fully self-contained and the fact that you can just remove the tops and you have your separate planters that you can just place down to the side, wash out your reservoirs and then refill them is ingenious and I really do love this design. It's really nice just to be able to hold the result of a hydroponic system in your hands without damaging the entire root system of whatever you're growing. Okay, so let's take some of this lettuce out and have a look at the root systems. Okay, so to capture the grow medium, I'm going to use this tub um, and we're just going to remove the lettuce. Yep, it's taken up pretty much the entire pot of grow media. Look at that. Look at all that. And surprisingly, there's only like a few roots that have made it all the way up into that bottom bell. The whole device is doing its job really well. And you can see there that we've got one, two, three, four, five individual lettuce plants in that one container, all competing for that nutrient. Okay, there you have it. That is the Botanium self-contained indoor planting system. Links to the product will be in the description of this video and you can head over to the Botanium website as well to purchase this device. A really nice result, I think, and a well thought out and well designed device. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hucho's. Happy hydroponicking and I'll see you next time. <laughs> On Hucho's. <laughs>